Alicia and I go to Lincoln High School. I'm 16 and I have a love for horticulture and today I'm going to check out how to be a newsroomer. And what better place to learn than in New Zealand's garden city of Christchurch, home of Odorings Nursery. Hi, I'm Julian Odoring from Odorings Nurseries. Hi, I'm Alicia, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Right, come with us and I'll give you a bit of an insight on some of the things we do around here. This is our retail Alicia where um, we sell a lot of our finished product. All apprentices have been there last year here in retail uh, where they put into use the, what they've learnt in the first two years in the nursery when they've done their soil mixing, their, their general knowledge on plant health. So they've already got a good ground by the time they get here. Uh, in the first year they do production in, in nursery with bedding plants, cut flowers, floriculture and all those other sort, sorts of things. First up, Alicia will be getting a taste of what it takes to become a nurseryman with mentor and assistant propagation manager, Brett Harris. So here you've got an interest in horticulture. Yeah, I really enjoy horticulture. Yeah. Excellent. Hopefully today we can give you a bit of hands-on experience about what it's all about. OK, that'd be great. I'll get you to pop this on and we'll get into it. OK, Brett, so what do we do here? OK, these plants are called cyclamen and what we're doing is picking them over to get any pests and diseases off them and any dead leaves. Um, we're also taking any spent flowers off them. How come you take off the pests and diseases? Um, just to stop them spreading through the crop. So if you'd like to okay, grab a plant yeah. and we'll start having a look at them. Maintenance of your plants is very important because you, before you start growing new plants, you've got to look after what you've got. There's no point going and growing new plants if you can't look after what you already have established. So it's very important to keep things weed free as weeds take light and food away from your plants. So you want to get rid of those. It puts more energy back into the plant as well. Hello. Well, finished already? Yep. Excellent. I'll get you to give me a hand here. OK. So what are we doing here? Well, what we're doing is loading these onto this trolley to take them out to the shade house and acclimatise them so they're ready to go out in customers' gardens. So what happens when they're in the glass house, they get nice and big and stretched and soft, and that's not what people want. Oh, OK. So this is kind of preparing them for the real world? Exactly. That's, that's exactly what we're doing. Oh, wow. Cool. In a large nursery such as this, it is important that the needs of every plant species is met. Environmental controls allow the grower to customise the conditions to the plant's needs. It's a system the nurseryman needs to be proficient at. With so many different plants in here, how do you cater for all their needs? It's interesting you should ask that. We've got an irrigation system which means we can water each row separately. And we've also got a blanket up on the roof here that keeps the warmth in the winter and it keeps the sun down to a minimum during the summer. Yeah, looking after plants can be like nurturing a baby, or they're like children really, um, different ones have different needs. How important is it that you get the settings right? It's very important, and as you get through your apprenticeship you'll find out more and more that different plants need different amounts of water, so it, it's very important. You'll find out if you give them too much, some plants don't handle it very well, and some plants don't like being under stress and not having enough water. Oh, I see. There's a lot to learn and retain as a horticulturalist. Nothing beats hands-on experience, so everything you need to know can be learnt and used on the job. Right. Olivia Hesp cool. is now one year into her apprenticeship and has already discovered how rewarding the variety of work can be. So how did you get into it? Um, I sort of just went up to the boss one day and asked him if there was any opening positions out the back. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, he, he signed me up and then away we went. But you can go through Polytech and do yeah. it that way if you wanted to. And is it quite challenging? It is a lot. Um, you, yeah. You've got to lift things, you've got to do stuff. You've so, got to like, perform. physically demanding. Thing. It is quite yeah. physically demanding. It yeah. is. Um, it's good fun, though. Yeah. Um, I enjoy myself. Yeah. You move around different sections of the nursery, so you're never bored. You're never yeah. doing the same thing, which is pretty yeah. good for me. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. So how did you learn all these things? Um, mostly from the people that work here. Um, there's a um, training advisor that comes along and checks on you every three or so months just to yeah. make sure that you're doing all right and that the learning that you're doing is of the high standard that they expect you to be doing. Oh, cool. Yeah. And with new and improved methods constantly being introduced, the need to meet new standards is essential. How's it going? What have you yeah, been up to? I've just been sowing some seeds with Olivia. It was heaps of fun. Oh, excellent. Pretty soon those seeds you sow with Olivia are going to be reaching this stage, which means they're going to be, need to be transplanted. In the old days we used to do it all by hand, but now we use machines. Oh, how does this machine work? Well, we start out by putting out boxes of packs on the machine and running them through so they get filled with soil. The amount of automated systems have really influenced things around. It means you don't need to water as many things by hand or you don't need to go around filling things up with shovels and filling boxes of soil with shovels and that, so it's, it's taken a lot of the physical side out of the job. Wow, it's pretty amazing, pretty high tech. It is it's very high tech. How many plants does it put in, like, in a minute or something like that? It does 10,000 plants in an hour. Does it? Wow. 
Okay, so this is the final step of the process before they can go out to the glass house and finally the shops. What we're doing is going through and checking that they're all complete and all the quality's the same. Um, attention to detail is vital. Um, if, you, if you're growing plants in packs and they're nines and yeah, you have a bit of a she'll be right attitude and they go out with only eight in them, you're, never, you're not going to be able to sell them. So it's vital you've got attention to detail. Also, if you, if you advertise a particular plant and flower, you've got to have it looking just right. Otherwise, again, you're letting your customers down and you're letting yourself down as well. And when presenting your product to the customer, presentation can make all the difference. A particular challenge when dealing with one of the industry's essential elements. This is our soil mixer. This is what we mix all our potting mixes in. I see. It's yeah. called a paddle mixer. It's got two big paddles in it which churn all the ingredients around and push the potting mix out the other end. It can be quite loud in here. It's quite messy, but it's a lot of fun. It's one of those places where you really do get to get your hands dirty. So what happens here is the soil comes out of our mixer once it's mixed. It goes up back and via belt. We can run it off into the bobcat bucket and use it in the rest of the nursery, or we can put it into bags and we can sell it through our retail stores. Well, Alicia's soil may be ready for sale, but has her performance sold Brett into giving her the green thumbs up? Yeah, Alicia showed a lot of initiative. Um, we'd finish one job and she'd turn around and she'd be doing something else. So, yeah, she, she's got the right sort of attitude to, to go far in this industry. So even though that I found the physical side of things challenging, it was still rewarding at the end of the day and heaps of fun. And I would really like to do a job like this in the future. To prosper in a career as a nurseryman, you'll need to complete an apprenticeship in horticulture and obtain the National Certificate in Horticulture Advanced Nursery Production Level 4. This can take three years to complete and includes both theory and practical components. However, most training is done on the job so you earn while you learn. There are no specific entry requirements for this job, but any previous experience in horticulture is useful. And once you qualify as a horticulturalist, the qualifications you gain are recognised around the world. And for those that wish to progress further, specialising in specific fields provides even more challenges and rewards. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.